It is now the yard machine turn in the garage. I just took the shot back to the gas can. It was full of trash. Now it looks really clean. And the gas in there is supposed to be dry for a year, so I wouldn't worry about it blowing up. Checking the oil. Looks great. Put that back in. Air filter. It'll do. I hate how those fill up with the water right there by the carburetor. I'm going to drill a hole in that. Anyway, air filter is good enough. I'm about ready to put some gas in it, put the battery in it, see what happens. So I put a shot of gas in the tank, let that soak for a few minutes, and now I'm going to drill a hole and let this water out. There we go. This is what the old air filter looks like. I'm going to give that a pass. I'm going to run the shop back through here, clean up some of this loose crud. Where we are so far, there's gas in it. I put the battery in it. I took the shifter plate off to get to the solenoid because when we turn the key on it's doing the same thing the Murray was doing clicking I can hear the power coming on down there I can see the amp meter moving so we're going to jump out of solenoid see what happens I poured a shot of gas in the carburetor there's a separate choke it's on gas is full throttle Nothing's happening. Phone's ringing. I may have figured it out. The key is off. Key is on. Let's see what happens now. Anyway, ready to run. We are rolling. That's my belt coming apart. Back belt looks good. Front belt needs to be replaced ASAP. Hey, but we did make it through the ditch. Kind of curious what it would sound like with no muffler. Maybe we'll try that next. So just the other day I did a test drive with the yards machine. It did super, but the camera did not. I got none of it on video. The super swampers did great. When I get back to the yard, the belt is so shredded, you can see it up in there. It won't go backwards, it won't go forwards. The good news, I was in town yesterday, I googled it. Google said 5 8 by 53 inches. We've got a belt to put on it. We'll get the belt on. I need to do something with this clutch pedal, it comes back too far. And the solenoid. Those three things and we'll have a good little machine. Ready to ride. And on the Murray, here's an update on the Murray. I found two new front tires for it. Not new. Two different front tires for it. This one keeps wanting to go flat. That's a 23. This is a 22. 22 7 by 10. We'll use those black wheels because the red wheel here is a different bolt pattern. When you guys voted on the tires 100% for these, 0% for those. So it looks like we're going with the Goodyears, but there is a, another option. 
These are 23 inch tall Sahara Classics. They came off the topless Nissan. And I believe the bolt pattern from the Nissan wheel will fit right on the Murray. So now vote time again. Sahara Classics or the Goodyears. What about the height? Okay, let's check it. 25 versus 23 look about the same to me. So what's up to you guys? You vote, you let me know. And John Deere update. I was driving the other day and the front tire came off. I got that on video. I'll try to get you a video of John Deere real soon. I plan to take the rear end out, maybe take it apart, clean it. It don't want to shift right now. It's stuck in high gear. Still runs great, just stuck in high gear. This is floorboard strength check time. I'm going to lift it up. That way I can get under and change that belt easier. I now know why it wouldn't go frontwards and backwards. The belt is off of the pulley. If we look at it, there is not much of it left. Anyway, I got to take the back drive pulley off first. It is up in here. Take it off. Then we'll get this front drive pulley off. Put the new one on. Put the back one back on. Test drive time. That was not too bad. I took off one belt keeper. Here's the new heart shaped belt. Here's the old belt. I'm thinking the new belt will keep the clutch from going down so far. That was pretty much no belt at all. Throw it over there. And we'll get the new one on. Both belts are now back on. There's the back belt. It still looks pretty good. There's the blue front belt. And I want to get rid of some of this crud. Don't need that. And I got to put on one belt guard. And I got these mower deck brackets off. Don't need those. Thing shifts so easy. Watch the speed of that thing. It's getting dark and it's too rainy for a test drive, so I took off some more mower parts. I don't need that. And now I'm thinking about taking the muffler off. There's one bolt on this side, two bolts on that side. Should be a piece of cake. That's as easy as it gets. Three bolts later and the muffler is off. There's the open exhaust. I'm about ready to hear it. <laughs> 